If you have a dream to dream, take your time, go slowly. Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. If you have a dream to dream, take your time, go slowly. Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. Simple joys are holy. Simple joys are holy. A great woman who will soon be a saint said this, do small things with great love. Most of us can agree with that, but here's where the problem comes in. How can we tell if something is small or large? How can we tell if something is important or significant? Well, hopefully, graduates of 2016, your education has helped you. Education is expensive. It is confusing. And it's wonderful. The liberal arts are only wonderful when they free us. And you have been emancipated. And now it's time to get busy. The real learning starts in the classroom, but it's continued for the rest of your life. How will you take all your areas of specificity and blend them into your life? Your spiritual life will help you do that. Because the spiritual life encompasses it at all. It helps you to figure out what is something that is important, and it gives you the stamina to do it. So oftentimes in life, we can figure out what's important, but what happens to us? We get overwhelmed by life. And friends, life will overwhelm you. If you don't have a place when it pushes back at you to go and find that center, to go and find that peace. The questions of your education have answered many questions. But the question of meaning and significance remains, doesn't it? What am I supposed to do with this? Where am I supposed to do it? Who am I supposed to do it with? Large, important questions. That if you stay true to your values, to your spirituality, you will not only have the information and the insight, but you will have the stamina to do it. What these readings show us today is that God accompanies us. In that first reading, David was a great prophet, loved by God. Loved by God. And every time David fell in sin, God forgave him. Every time. He never let go of him. That is a message. No matter what happens to us, or how lonely we feel, or how sleepy we feel, God never lets go of us. And if we're believers, that's good news. In that second reading, Paul says something very powerful. Paul was a law man, but he was also a truth seeker. And when God knocked him off of whatever God knocked him off of, Paul had to struggle. And doesn't that happen to all of us? We try to dot every I and cross every T. And we go absolutely crazy when we we can't control life, right? We think we're a failure. But sometimes we have to fail in order for God to begin. We have to stop. We have to end so that God can begin. That's what faith means. That's what love means. If we try to control everything, we cannot be in a relationship. And God wants to be in a relationship with us. And when Paul finally got there, what did he say? It's not about me any longer, but Christ lives in me. Christ is law and love incarnate. And my responsibility is to form a relationship with that. That's what it means to live in the Spirit, to walk in the Spirit. God will bring the law and the will and everything together 
if we will live no longer for ourselves, but allow Christ to live in us. And and lastly, in the Gospel, we have a beautiful story. Another story about Jesus being kind, right? Let's give some context to it. So he's he's at a party of a prestigious Pharisee by invitation only. These parties were known to be outside and very important gatherings. But there was no security back then. So this woman just kind of moseys on in there, but people knew who she was. And they mosey right up to Jesus. Not only does she mosey up to Jesus, she touches him. She weeps. She bathes his feet. This sinner. And Jesus lets her do it. And this Pharisee is saying, if this person is truly the Messiah and a prophet, he's going to bring down the thunder of the law on her. Boy, what does he say? He tells one of those crazy parables, right? If we carry a lot of sin and we're forgiven, don't you feel better? So if we feel better, we have to take some of that more better that we feel and we have to share that with other people, Right? We can't take the space that's inside of us from feeling more better and be nasty and resentful. If we are, our spiritual formation has failed and we have not got it. That's what Jesus says. So he says, Simon, right? He's looking right at him and says, Simon, look at this woman. He said, now, all these things of the law you didn't do. It was customary for the guest of the house to bring any guest that came in, a water basin to wash his or her feet. Simon was so busy judging, he forgot to do that. He didn't even greet Jesus because he was so busy judging. And he says, this woman did all three of these things. And because she did something small with great love, her burden is lifted. When you and I take the time to calm down and to breathe and to let our education, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, land, we can focus. We learn how to use the law. We don't use the law to beat people up. That's not what it's for. The law is for the common good. Look it up. Jesus said that. So what my hope and prayer is, graduates of 2016, is that the real work of doing a lot of things with great love will begin now. And that your education will be a wonderful supplement to that. And when your education tires and wanes, you realize that your spiritual formation And God's accompaniment never does. And you will trust that. If you trust that, if you believe that, if you embrace it, you have nothing to fear. Take a second to look around at all these people. They're here for you. Look at them. Turn around. That's what happens in church. Sometimes we don't turn around. And if we don't turn around and look at who's with us, we don't become a community. Graduates, all these people, even though they don't know you, are here for you. They believe in you. Take a snapshot of the scene and hang it up somewhere. It reminds you that you are always loved and you are always accompanied. We thank you for your service in this community. Take this community with you wherever you go because it's going to be there. I graduate with you this year and I will take you with me. If you have a dream to dream, take your time, go slowly. Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. You know the words now. If you have a dream to dream, take your time, go slowly. Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. If you have a dream to dream, take your time, go slowly. 
Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. Simple joys are holy.